Concept 2, Solving Equations that Contain Fractions. Alright, so when we have an equation that has fractions in it, our first job is to get rid of those fractions. Alright, to do that we're going to use the least common denominator, and we're going to multiply every term by that least common denominator. Okay, and it doesn't matter which side of the equal sign it's on, doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, doesn't matter if it's um, a fraction or a whole number. Um, we have to multiply every single term by that same number, by that least common denominator. Okay, so this first one is pretty straightforward. Right? All of my fractions, all of my terms have a denominator of 3, so that's going to be my least common denominator. I'm going to multiply each of these terms by 3. And because they have the same denominator as what I'm multiplying by, I just am going to cancel that in each of them. Oops. Let me do that one. Okay. And that has the effect of just getting rid of my fractions in this case. So I'd be left with 2x plus x minus 5 equals 7. All right, and now I can go back to my um, normal steps, combine my like terms. 2x plus x is 3x. I have a negative 5 here, but I want to isolate my variable, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And I'll be left with 3x is equal to 7 plus 5, or 12, divide by 3 by 3, and I'm left with x is equal to 12 divided by 3, or 4. Okay? Alright, let's look at another one that doesn't have um, the exact same denominator for all of them. So I have 1 half x plus 2 thirds x plus 7 sixths equals 7. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that over 1, just so it's easy easier for me to see um, that this is a fraction with a denominator of 1. And now I've got to find the least common denominator. Okay, um, I'm going to do 2 times 3, which would be 6. And then I have another 6 here, and 1 that goes into 6. Um, so 6 will work for all of these. Okay, So I'd multiply each term by 6. By 6. 6 by 6. 6 times 2, I'm going to factor that out. So I have 3 in that case. Factor this out. So then this would be a 2. These cancel. And then I can't factor this out at all because this is just a 1. So I have 3 times 1x, which would give me 3x, plus 2 times 2x, 4x, plus 7, equals 7 times 6, or, oops, not 56. Uh, 7 times 6, 42. Okay, so now I combine my like terms. I have 7x, and then I still have my plus 7, equals 42. Subtract by 7, subtract 7, and I have 7x equals 42 minus 7, which should be 35. Divide by 7, divide by 7, and I have x is equal to 5. Okay, 35 divided by 7. Um, one thing I did want to point out is you can see in this first equation, I had my x um, variable in my numerator. I, I had 2x over 3, or x over 3, and in this one, I had it off to the side. I had 1 half times x. These are the same. They're two different ways of writing the same thing. Okay, so 1 half x is equal to x over 2. Okay, so don't get confused by that. All right, same thing. All right, so if we look at our steps, 
our steps are um, not really growing. I've combined um, one of our steps from before. So our first step is to multiply each term by the lowest common denominator. Our second step is to identify and combine those like terms. So this one I kind of uh, combined two of our previous steps. Step three is to isolate the variable, and step four is to solve the equation. Okay, so let's do that with this one. Um, this one's a little bit more complicated. It's got um, a larger number of different terms. Okay, so um, my first job is to multiply each term by the lowest common denominator, so i got to find the lowest common denominator. Okay, um, I see I have 15. And 3 is a factor of 15, and 5 is a factor of 15, but 2 is not. All right? So 3 and 5 and 15 all work together, um, but now I've got to multiply 2 by 15 to find my least common denominator. Okay? And 2 times 15 is 30. So I've got to multiply each of these by 30. Okay? It's 30 times. 30 and times 30. Okay, then I come through and I factor them out. 5 times 6 is 30, so I cross those out and replace it with 6. 2 times 15 is 30, so I have 15 here. 3 times 10 is 30, so I'd have 10 there. 15 times 2 is 30, so I would have a 2 there. And I have 6 times 4, or 24x, minus 15 times 1, 15 times x, plus 10 times 2, 20, which is equal to 28 times 2, or 56. 56, yeah, 56. Okay? All right. So I finished my first step. Now I'm going to identify and combine like terms. Um, I've just got these two x values. They're right next to each other. They're even in an easy order for me to subtract. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. 24x minus 15x is going to be 9x plus 20 equals 56. Okay, I've combined my like terms. Now I'm going to isolate the variable by moving this 20 is constant away from my um, variable, minus 20, minus 20, so I have 9x equals 56 minus 20, 36, okay, and now I'm on to, um, I've isolated the variable, now I've got to solve the equation, to do that I've got to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide by 9, divide by 9, and x, x is equal to 36 over 9, or 